Hi, I'm Diane Cometa, and today on Dishing with Di, I'm going to show you how to make Eggs Benedict. This is a delicious breakfast perfect for a special occasion, or if you just want to treat yourself special. So let's get started on Dishing with Di. There's no doubt that this is a really delicious breakfast recipe, and it really has pretty simple ingredients, but you need to be prepared to make it because it's kind of time sensitive. Everything has to come out at the same time, and it has to be perfectly cooked. So to get yourself ready, the first thing that you want to do is get a saucepan with about an inch of water and have that on your burner along with a bowl that's going to fit over top of that without actually touching the water. I like to use a glass or a stainless steel bowl for this, or you could use a double boiler if you have one. Next you're going to need a balloon whisk because this bowl and saucepan are going to be used to make the hollandaise sauce. So you need a nice whisk for that and you also need a spatula handy. Then to make some poached eggs, which is really the star of the show when it comes to Eggs Benedict besides the sauce, you need a skillet with some high sides and you're going to fill that about two thirds of the way with some water. Then right next to that you're going to need some paper towels and this is to take the eggs and drain them and to get them out of the water you'll need a slotted spoon so have that ready as well. Now there's some Canadian bacon involved in this which is really ham and you're going to need to cook that in another skillet so have that ready. Then last but not least you need a small saucepan to melt some unsalted butter so have that ready as well. Now let's get started with the sauce first. The hollandaise sauce needs some egg yolks so you want to separate some eggs and then take the whites and just use those for another purpose so pop those in your fridge. Now you need some lemon juice so go ahead and squeeze that and now take those and get over to the stove. Now you want to take that small saucepan and put some unsalted butter in there and you're going to melt this over low to medium heat. Now heat up the water in the saucepan till it comes to a simmer. So you don't want a rolling boil here, you just want it to be just bubbling gently, very small little bubbles on there. Take the bowl, put that over top of the saucepan, put your eggs in and your lemon juice, Grab the whisk and start whisking away and whisk some more until this becomes nice and thick and pale. If the water starts to boil, the eggs will start to kind of scramble. So you don't want that because it'll spoil the sauce. So if it starts to boil or the bowl gets too hot, just remove it from the saucepan, but continue to whisk. Then once it cools down and the water has you know cooled or you lowered the temperature, put that back on the pot and keep going until it thickens up. Now you're gonna take that melted unsalted butter and you're gonna gradually, while whisking, pour that in, just a few drizzles at a time. And once you get it all in there, continue to whisk for about three to five minutes until it becomes thickened. And then put it on your counter and grab some hot chili sauce and pour a few drops of that in along with some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you say it, I don't know. Put some of that in there too and a little bit of salt. Then whisk that until it's thoroughly combined and just go ahead and cover it so it stays warm. Turn on that small skillet and heat that up over medium low heat and I usually put like a little bit of butter in there and melt that and put your Canadian bacon in. You're only going to cook the Canadian bacon for about two minutes on each side. It'll just barely get a little bit singed and then when you're done with that just set that aside. Get the English muffins, slice those in half, and pop those in your toaster. And when you're ready, you're just going to pop those down because, again, this thing has to come together all at once. Now, with the poaching of the eggs, heat the water up in that skillet until it comes to a low boil. So it'll just start to bubble a little bit. At that point, Add about a teaspoon of white vinegar along with some salt. These two combined are going to help the eggs set. Then grab the eggs and break those into individual small bowls and then with a spoon or a spatula create a whirlpool in the water and then gently release the egg right 
on the surface of the water. The Whirlpool will take the egg around and it'll just take the white and just kind of wrap it all around itself and it'll come out perfectly. As soon as you get the eggs in there, set your timer for no more than three minutes. This is really important. Now, if you cook the egg too long, it's gonna get hard inside and when you go to cut it, there's nothing that's gonna come out. So it's gonna kind of ruin the beauty of Eggs Benedict. So make sure no more than three minutes. While the eggs are cooking, toast your English muffins. When the eggs are done, use a slotted spoon and remove them from the water and place them on the paper towel to drain for just a few moments. Now grab the hollandaise sauce. If it looks like it got a little bit thick, then you wanna go ahead and grab some water and put that in. I usually use the water that was in the pot that I cooked the hollandaise sauce in. Grab a couple teaspoons of that and whisk that in just until it becomes your desired consistency. Then take an English muffin and put that on your plate. Put a little butter on there if you want to. I'm not gonna tell a soul. Then put that Canadian bacon right on top. Place your poached egg on there. Season that with a little bit of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. And then spoon that glorious hollandaise sauce right over top. And be generous. This stuff is like liquid gold and people are gonna be wanting more. So make sure you give them an ample amount to begin with. Believe me, you're really gonna love it. So now it's time to dig in. Slice into that and you will see that egg yolk just come pouring out and the hollandaise sauce pour out on top of that. And then just take your fork and dig in and take a bite of heaven here. It's got everything that you want that is just gonna make you say, mmm, <laughs> my favorite word. Make sure you get this recipe. It's on my website, dishingwithdye.com, and I hope I made your life a little easier, more enjoyable, and delicious. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.